subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to another episode of Scientific where I Mohana Basu take you through the top science stories of the week from across the globe. A 65-year-old man with a full body paralysis was able to type with his mind thanks to a new software that turns mental handwriting into on-screen words and sentences. Using just his mind, the man was able to communicate by text at speeds rivaling those achieved by his able-bodied peers texting on a smartphone. Stanford University researchers implanted a device called a brain computer interface into the brain of the man. This device was coupled with an artificial intelligence software which was able to decode information from the device to co- quickly convert the man's thoughts about handwriting into text on a computer screen. The man was able to write using this approach more than twice as quickly as he could using a previous method developed by the same Stanford researchers. The advance could pave the way for millions globally who've lost the use of their upper limbs or their ability to speak due to spinal cord injuries, strokes or Lou Gehrig's disease. The participant in the study produced text at the rate of about 18 words per minute. By comparison, an able-bodied person of the same age can punch out about 23 words per minute on a smartphone. This week, scientists from the UK have discovered a new snake species from Tamil Nadu. The new species, now known as Joseph's racer, was first collected in the mid 19th century, but it had been mixed up with another similar species found across the rest of India. This confusion can be traced back to a scientist called Albert Gunther, who worked at the UK Natural History Museum between 1875 and 1895 and originally mixed up the species with what was known as the banded racer or Argyrogena fasciolata. The paintings from 185 years ago were so detailed that they allowed museum associate Deepa Kuirappan to use them in the description of the new species. The findings also showed that none of the skins collected in 1796 were from the banded racer but instead belonged to a completely different species. Following the thread of events through history brought the researchers to a series of natural history paintings produced in 1836 by a Danish physician and zoologist named Theodore Cantor. Cantor was working for British East India Company during which time he used his position to become the first western scientist to collect and scientifically describe many species including the Siamese fighting fish and the king cobra. He also collected paintings of many of these animals including snakes. These paintings are so detailed that even the number of scales on the snake's heads can be counted which can be used to tell a species apart. It turned out that few of the snake paintings drawn some 185 years ago were misidentified. After studying the paintings and wading through all the literature surrounding the banded racer, including reassessing over 400 different accounts of the snake, they managed to confirm that the racer was not just a single species as had been long thought. The new species is now known as Joseph's racer or Platyseps josephi. The species has been found to have much more restricted distribution found only in Tamil Nadu which may have an impact on the snake's conservation. Meanwhile, Voyager 1, a NASA spacecraft launched 44 years ago and now the most distant human-made object in space, has now detected the constant drone of interstellar gas or plasma waves. The spacecraft has passed the edge of the solar system through heliopause, the solar system's border with the interstellar space into the interstellar medium. Examining data beamed back from more than 14 billion miles away, researchers recovered the faint monotone of the interstellar gas. The work allows scientists to understand how the interstellar medium interacts with the solar wind and how the protective bubble of the solar system's heliosphere is shaped and modified by the interstellar environment. Launched in September 1977, the Voyager 1 spacecraft flew by Jupiter in 1979 and then Saturn in late 1980. Voyager 1 has crossed the heliopause in August 2012. Also this week scientists have found that dual vaccination against a pair of immune signaling molecules can protect against allergic asthma for at least 11 weeks in mice. The study may pave the way for protecting patients with asthma, the most common chronic lung disease. 
50% of asthma patients have a form of inflammation in their lungs. The immune signature includes the production of two immune signaling molecules known as cytokines, interleukin-4 or IL-4 and interleukin-13 or IL-13, which are thought to act as early and late stage asthma respectively. The researchers designed a pair of vaccines called kinoids that would target these cytokines. Kinoids enable the body to produce an antibody response against the cytokines. After vaccination, the mice showed increased lung elasticity and resistance as compared to mice given a saline injection. This effect was seen when using the individual vaccine separately, but the greatest effect was noted when they were both used together. Pair vaccinated mice also showed 21-fold reduced level of immune cells in their lungs. The efficacy of these findings will still need to be confirmed in human studies before any major claims can be made about the dual vaccine's potential. In another study published this week, researchers have found that plant eaters survived a mass extinction that wiped out 90% of the world's species 252 million years ago by learning to eat different kinds of plants. The study from the University of Bristol found that the species that were able to chew harsher materials, which reflected the drying conditions of the era, became most successful. These tougher herbivores included some of the first dinosaurs. Following the largest mass extinction of all time, known as N. Permian mass extinction, ecosystems rebuilt from scratch about 250 to 201 million years ago, paving way for new species. The team measured hundreds of fossil jaws and compared their shapes with living animals. This enabled them to estimate key functional values from the fossil jaws such as mechanical advantage and bite force, measuring the leverage of the jaws and how fast and forcefully they could shut. Results were studied through the 80 million years following the mass extinction and including diversification of the first plant-eating dinosaurs. The scientists were able to map the evolution of the functional characters relating to feeding across the evolutionary tree and through time. That is all for this week. This is Mohan Abbasu, special correspondent at The Print. Visit theprint.in for the latest news updates.